This is the main screen or home screen where we can find all the pump options which we'll explain now. As we can see the home screen is divided into three sections. Top of the screen is the status bar which shows the PDA and pump status. Measurements and operation information are shown in the middle of the screen. And the part at the bottom contains buttons for operation, setting and history. As for the status bar, it will be divided into two parts, separated by time. In the English version, the left part of the bar corresponds to the pump and is colored blue and includes an icon representing the pump's battery status. It will show the charge decreasing gradually unless the connection is lost with the PDA, so it will show like that. There's also an icon that shows how much insulin is left in the reservoir in different degrees. And if the PDA wireless link is poor, it displays this symbol. You can see the PDA status, which is green on the right. This icon displays the state of the PDA in terms of battery charging in different degrees. When it's charging, it looks like this. There is also another icon that shows the wireless signal strength in three different degrees. In the event of a total disconnect, you'll see this. Additionally, this icon will appear if there are any warnings from the pump. If a reminder for blood sugar measurement has been previously set, this icon will appear. Pressing the button in the middle of the status bar displays a larger screen with a detailed representation of the information in the status bar. It contains the name of the pump user and the pump serial number. Furthermore, all the data contained in the status bar is shown in numerical format, not only the icons. We'll see this. If there are any pump warnings, then we can acknowledge and cancel it from here. In the middle of the home screen, you'll find the three most prominent numbers related to the operation of the pump and the status of its user, such as the most recent blood glucose measurement and the time of the test, the latest bolus when it was administered, and its dose, as well as the current basal rate. In certain situations, this area changes to reflect the action taking place at the moment. For example, at the time of the bolus delivery. The temporary basal rate status. Or the amount of time that insulin delivery has stopped. The lower part of the home screen contains buttons for a variety of functions, as we described earlier. 1. Bolus. Pressing this button takes us to the bolus screen where we can administer a normal or extended bolus. This will be explained in detail in a separate video. 2. The basal button. And by clicking it, we can set the basal programs or start a temporary basal rate. You can refer to the video of the basal for more information. 3. The actions button, which brings up the actions screen where we can perform several operations, changing the pump battery or starting a new reservoir, initiating a new pump. It's all explained in the pump installation video. We can also manually enter the blood sugar measurement value and determine the user's condition at the time of the test. The food library contains a list of carbohydrates found in a wide variety of known foods, allowing us to search by name and category. Simply by clicking on the plus sign, we are able to add our own favorite food and its attributes to the list. The last item in actions is the audio player, which is only available if the PDA is equipped with a memory card. The history button. This is where we can find information about the user's therapy history and historical averages during a specific period of time. The current day is automatically displayed when we open it. We can also choose a specific day to display by using the arrows to the right and left of the current date. In portrait mode, data appears in gray with timestamp entries such as blood glucose readings, changes in basal rate, and bolus amounts. 
carbohydrate consumption. Using your finger, you can scroll up and down the list. You may also filter the results by using a check boxes beneath the list. And above all these events are the daily averages, such as average blood sugar, total daily intake of carbohydrate, total insulin, and bolus percentage of total insulin for the day. Whenever this icon is shown, this means that if we hold the PDA in a horizontal or landscape position, the information will be displayed in a graph display mode. The graph will illustrate two types of information. As you can see in the upper chart, it displays blood glucose measurements as green circles and carbohydrate intakes as vertical green lines. The lower chart exhibits the basal rate and blue waveform and boluses are indicated by vertical blue lines. This was the display screen for the daily record, but if we want broader averages, press the button that says Average AVG and we'll get an average for a longer period of time. By default, the duration is a week. However, we are able to increase this duration by clicking on it and selecting the desired period from the quick keys. Or select a specific number of days by using the plus and minus buttons. At the bottom of the screen, you can choose different filters to show, for example, the averages of all readings that were taken before, after, exercise, or before, after a meal. While we are viewing historical averages, we can access calendar mode by rotating the PDA to landscape orientation. The left side of the screen shows the time, while the top of the screen shows the day. When you tap on any hourly data, detailed information is displayed. We can also change the week using the left and right arrows. And by clicking on the button that says log, you can return to the daily log. As well, one of the buttons located in the lower part of the screen is the settings button. Clicking on it takes us to the settings menu. Settings wizard contains all the basic settings needed to operate the pump, including the five screens we explained earlier. BG, or blood glucose settings. This is where we can set the reminders for measuring blood glucose, or enable the bonus calculator if we didn't do it in the settings wizard. Insulin delivery settings. This window contains all the settings for administering insulin whether it is a bolus dose or a basal rate. Some of those settings were made using the setting wizard and we can reset them here. General settings and this will contain some menu items that are not available in the setting wizard such as about the system. This shows information about the PDA model, software version, PDA serial number and the paired pump serial number also includes options for changing the language, memory card information, including how much of its total capacity is used and how much is available. You can also back up the history on the memory card. Display options. This allows us to adjust the brightness of the display and set the inactivity timeout before the screen turns off. Also here, we can enter using data, such as name and password, to ensure security during power on, contact details, and restore factory settings. Lastly, the settings for sound and Bluetooth connection, so we can export our history without having to use data cable. This allows data and records to be transferred to the cloud enabling the healthcare providers to check our settings and data remotely. In the bottom right corner of the home screen is the suspend or pause button. This can be used, for instance, if we temporarily do not require any insulin infusion or we need to remove the pump from the base. Pressing this button, we open a confirmation dialog box. If we choose to suspend, 
pump won't rewind. Click OK. The PDA returns to the home screen, and the information area of the home screen will display the amount of time that insulin delivery has stopped for, and the pause button will become a resume button. The PDA will flash every 15 minutes during the pump suspension period. When choosing stop, pump will rewind. Here the pump will stop and the rod will return to its original position. In this case, we'll need to follow the change reservoir procedure. Note, the pump cannot be in suspend mode while a bolus is in progress and the dose must be canceled before the pump can be suspended. As well, we can turn off the PDA display from the power button or it automatically turns off after the preset screen timeout. When we press the power button again, we'll see this lock screen. To unlock, pull the lock bar from the left to right, then enter the password. In case we forget the password, we can enter the pump serial number. It's worth noting that when the screen is off, the pump is functioning properly. The information contained in this video is for the purpose of demonstrating the functionality as a part of the Equal Insulin Pump Training System. Emphasis is placed on the fact that installation is only carried out by parties approved by Microtech Medical and after consulting with the healthcare provider and under his supervision throughout the training period. Diabetes Cloud Live with freedom.